morning folks this is video number 132 and the title is huh <laughs> I don't know what else to put on here uh, I think you all know you know it's all you see on the news anymore is uh, one side or the other politics or uh, all this uh, adult Values or lack of values being imposed on kids as young as three, four, or five years old. Refreshing to see that there are still parents out there that allow their kids to be open minded and uh, let their imaginations run. That's what they're supposed to do. I'm going to plug in a little video here I saw last week. There's a lot of stupid stuff on the web, but this is the innocence of children. And besides that, it's one of the funniest things I've seen in a good while. Enjoy. The title of this little uh, video I'm plugging in is Mom's Rocket Ship. Yeah, go ahead. What do you have there today? Show and tell us. Tell us what you brought in today. Okay. You can have a seat. Thank you for showing. Just to recap the rules, uh, we show and then we talk about it. That's the tell part. Who's next? Philip. Philip, what do you have? I bought in a rocket ship to the monkeys underneath her pillow. Okay, that's great. Philip, thank you for that. It has a switch here to turn it on. Then it buzzes like a rocket ship. All right, you can have a seat now. Okay, well, Mr. D. Oh, in no. No, it's good. Is it? Okay, okay. You know what? No, let's go through that. Oops. You broke his rocket ship. Oh, now you talk. Oh, how did this happen? After watching this, I couldn't help but wonder if Mr. D <laughs> made a phone call to uh, Mom. <laughs> if he did, I, all I could picture was, uh, well, I miss so and so. <laughs> This is Mr. D, little Phillips, kindergarten teacher. Were you aware we had show and tell today? Oh, you weren't? Well, little Phillips' presentation was the highlight of the morning. What did he bring? He brought your rocket ship. And then you would hear a thud. <laughs> and then Mr. D would be going, Miss so-and-so. Hello? Hello? Are you there? <laughs> oh, man. The innocence of kids. When we were kids, we were talking on two tin cans and a string. Today, we push a button. We can talk to a friend on the other side of the planet. Those kids, that's normal for them. I just can't even... Uh, comprehend what their imaginations are developing where it's going to take them all the best folks all the best bye